Big event in April, the Great American Eclipse, an excitement building for the total solar eclipse. Experts are emphasizing a crucial aspect, often overshadowed by the spe spectacle, and that's protecting your eyes. Meteorologist Christina San Juan went to the experts to learn more about the serious implications of looking at the sun without the proper eye protection. Christina? Yeah, that's right, guys. Now, I learned that we all have a very small part of our eye that holds a big responsibility, and if it gets damaged, there's no going back. VisionWorks performed an OptiMap eye exam on me to demonstrate. This part of the eye right here is the macula that's responsible for all of the central vision. So if anything happens to this part of the eye, it doesn't matter how strong we make glasses or contacts, we can't fix it. So that's why you know, anybody viewing the eclipse without the protected glasses, you get this really, really important part of the eye can be damaged permanently. Regular sunglasses simply aren't going to cut it. So look straight ahead. So what do you see now with it's the light? very bright. Right. They'll block the UV rays, but they're not going to block the intensity of the sun, infrared, and the full spectrum. So it, it's not even close. These solar eclipse glasses are 100,000 uh, 100, times darker than regular sunglasses. Okay, I, I literally see nothing. Okay, and that's how it's supposed to be. So it's when I totally black. Right, so when I shine this light, can you kind of see the outline of the light? I see a tiny little light, but yes. But barely, right? Barely. Okay. It's not bright, it's dim. Right. Keep in mind that your solar eclipse glasses must be worn for the entirety of the event if you plan to stay in Louisville or any other areas that are not in the path of totality. So you will have a small window, though, maybe two to three minutes to be able to watch the eclipse without the glasses. And that's yes. when it's in the total eclipse. But once that not in Louisville, though. once the moon starts move, moving, you better put, put those back glasses on. back on. Right. I learned just how important that is. Yeah. So in Louisville, even though we are going to see 99.4 percent totality, that seems yes, that's a lot, right? No, you cannot take off your glasses unless you are in that 100% totality uh, part of the country. So places like French Lick, Indiana, Seymour, for uh, just over three minutes in a lot of spots, then you'll be able to take them off. But uh, make sure that you are following all of those precautions because yeah. that was that take was Christina's a, advice. Uh, please do, yeah, and more so the the doctor, if you don't believe <laughs> me. That's what I learned here. Uh, that was a very very eye-opening interview. No pun intended. Uh -oh. <laughs>